um, so that you could experience what, uh, when we're showing you a carbon fiber and a hybrid fiber X carbon fiber and a, and a fiberglass pole, I left the mini without a pole skin on it, what we call a pole skin. Um, but this is 100% carbon fiber, perfect conductor of electricity. Right, hit a power line straight down. And what happened last year? Um, a guy, Erwin Sorensen in Denmark, he had a mini, and he had seal skins glove um, on, which are basically a, an insulating glove, and he had the pole skin on, which is neoprene, which is an insulator, and lycra on the outside, which is also an insulator. Right. So, so he had his pole extended, and he hit. 400 volts. Not step down at all, right off of the power, high power line, yeah. And so That's the nice question, because I know you actually, because you've had an experience with power um, and workers, um, so he's hit, it's exploded the pole, mm -hmm. but when I told you this earlier, you pointed out where the electricity must have gone, mm -hmm. right? Yes, I know exactly where it went. Where did it go? Okay, number one, you're very smart for having such a long, uh, uh, Insulator, okay, because that 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 electricity has to go to ground. It right. has to go to ground. There's 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 two places that electricity went. It was either out the butt of this to the right. ground, right, or it went it went from right here where 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 it meets the insulator to the ground. Um, it it's not going to go through the body unless it hits its foot. Uh, probably wouldn't hit his foot, it'd just go to ground from the butt. But he was, in a sense, he may have been lucky, and you wouldn't see electricity, can you? Can, can you could you oh, see you it? Oh, you could see it, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. So he would have heard the crack, yeah. not paid any attention, but had he have been like that, oh, it would've, it would've, it, there's yeah. a good chance it could have actually... Oh, right to his leg. It would've, it would've went right into his knee. Or or, it could, or if it was off his knee, it could have just gone through his foot, oh, his foot. on its way to the ground. On its way to the ground, yeah, right, right. But, wow. he, if he, but had, he just heard the crack and yeah. got dropped it. One of the one of two things happened. It, it either arced because it has to go to ground. Right. The point is, it has to go to ground. It has to go to ground. So, so it either arced out the butt of this to the ground. Yeah. In, in a magnificent spark, that that I wish we could have filmed. Right. Or it arced it arced from from this point right where it meets the insulator to yeah. ground. Now, if this were shorter, here it would have because of the dielectric. Uh, 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 properties of the air, how moist the air is, yep. and that sort of thing. Uh, the, 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 the dielectric properties of, of a fluid or a gas uh, uh, has to do with how far something will arc. Right. Okay. So on so, a really humid day, it would. Yeah, it might uh, arc, arc easy, more easily more somewhere easily. else. Yeah. Back to you all. Something. Right. But but his dielectric was just right to where this arced, and this length was just right to where it arced to the ground and not to his chest. If he was holding it like this, it would have arced to his chest. And then through his chest onto into the ground, so he was probably at, at this point uh, when when it went off, right? Wow! And and uh, uh, it would be kind of great if you if you had this insulated, then it would always it would always arc from here. Okay. Well, we're about to do that. I mean, it's yeah. a top secret idea, but we're yeah, about to do just, that. Just tap it out. We're just about to tap it with rubber. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I would have filmed that. That would have been an interesting uh, slow mo. Okay. Right. So let's talk about interesting slow mos in electricity when you're a young medical student. Oh, do you really want to hear that story? Well, we can, in terms of where the electricity went. Okay. Because, because you know, like we've got window cleaners. By the way, like if you were using that pole and you touched the power lines, that'd be the end of you. There's no choice, is there? Yeah. That power has to come, it's in your hands and yeah. your feet are on the ground. Yeah, that'd... It's not on the ground. Yeah. So the electricity has to come through you, and because it's 400 volts, what does that do? Oh, it stops your heart immediately. And can you get away? Well, in this case, in this case... It would have bounced off the wires, I suppose, yeah, so you would have just taken a whack. What happens, apparently, with carbon fiber is it expands rapidly and explodes. Right, which is what happened to his pole, yeah. actually. But that's not what happens to aluminum bladders. Um, well, aluminum bladders hook up and just act like a perfect conductor for as long as you want to hold on to it. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. And you've seen that? I did. I was a first, uh, first-hand witness, uh, and it was much more than 400 volts. It was coming straight out of a power plant. Wow. It was probably up toward, toward 1,200 volts. And uh, they were hopping the ladder, aluminum ladder. Uh, they were painting. They yeah. weren't window washing. Yeah. Same, same thing, right? Uh, they, were, they were hopping the ladder, and uh, uh, one worker uh, tilted the ladder back to hop it yep. and started losing it backward. And it was a two-story maybe three-story, I don't know, it was a tall aluminum ladder, 
and his buddy saw the ladder going backward, and his buddy grabbed it too. So you got one guy like this and another guy like this on the ladder. Yep. And, and you hit contact. They, they hit the contact the transformer. Of the lines. Yeah, contact of the lines. No, it's before the transformer. Oh. Coming straight out of the power plant. Right. The power plant was right there. Uh, and so they they uh, formed a connection uh, uh, with the uh, with the ground, and they were holding on to it. And was it on the? Like, was it still touching the ground, no, or wouldn't it have mattered? It wouldn't have mattered, but it was right. still touching. Yeah, they, right. they were just tilting it back. Right, right, right. Uh, so it wasn't as if they lifted it up and it was just no, like, finding it, its way through them. It wouldn't have mattered, right? Uh, because arcing at that voltage uh, is probably four feet. It, it'll probably arc through the air easy four feet. Right. You know, so you could actually the ladder before it actually touched before the wires, it actually touched the wires. It, have, it oh, it definitely oh, did. Well, as that as that ladder approached the so wires. they may have thought they were far enough away from the right. Wall. Exactly. I mean, that's exactly. interesting because we have carbon fiber yeah. poles and people might say I can no, go within no 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 two feet Depending or whatever on the as long as I don't touch. But right. it's not that, is no, it? No, no. Depending on the voltage and the and the moisture in the air, right? The the, the dielectric you know uh, the property of the air at the time depends on how far that voltage will arc to ground. If you've got perfect ground, uh, then uh, uh, I would say that ladder was five feet away from six wow. feet away from the wires uh, when that when that voltage snaked out and, yeah. and got it right. And then of course it just sucked so it's it not right that in. they were fools and they touched the wires. No, they weren't. They, they just didn't, didn't, yeah, know, they didn't know how close to they stay could get before wow. it arced. So they were on the wire. Well, of course, once it arced, I mean that that's that's a. <laughs> That's an amazing amount. They said uh, at the power plant. They said uh, during this whole episode, it was pulling the uh, the 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 current of a. Uh, I think they said uh, like a 300 horsepower motor. Wow. You know, or 400, or some ridiculous some amount of energy was going through these guys, right? Yeah. So I I walk around the corner right when this happened. Right. And I'm I'm from here. You know, I'm I'm 20 yards away. Yeah. And and. I could describe the injuries, but that would be kind of... Uh, well, one guy made it. Yeah, one guy made it. Lost both arms to the shoulders and one leg to the hip. So he basically, he was the conduit of the electricity to the yeah, ground. His, his, the electricity uh, went through uh, his, uh, uh, his arms and, and one leg. And just burnt them away, basically burnt them away. Yeah, they were arcing so brightly, it was like I was looking at a welder. And you were watching a human being? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah, they were arcing like a welder, and I couldn't watch them. Yeah, I had to turn my head away because it was just so bright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then once they lost enough height, because he's losing his legs, yeah. his, his legs were powdering out from under him. Uh, the, the ladder, because they they, they were ripping the ladder, of course. Yeah, yeah. The ladder because slid. They and they the can't. And the aluminium won't let go of the because the carbon fiber would have exploded by now. Oh yeah, the carbon fiber aluminium won't. No, no, no. Because we also have aluminium poles in our industry, by the way. So oh, yeah, that's no, why I'm they interested. They don't explode. They, they don't explode. They just stick they there and hang on to that thing. That's, yeah. And you're. Meantime, your these set of muscles here are going right, like this, right, so right, you've got right. no chance if it's yeah. aluminium. I mean, that's a case towards carbon fiber away from aluminium, isn't it? If you've got yeah. to hold a pole, right. not that you want to go near a power line. Right, right. right. And then, um, and then you got you got an award, like because you kind of took control of that situation. When you yeah, yeah. Story. Once once the ladder came off the wire, uh, uh, then I uh, sort of uh, uh, marshaled the, the students that were standing around in shock. Uh, marshaled them to, to help me. I, I noticed one of the uh, victims was seizing, and I knew he was alive. You can't yeah. seize if your heart stopped. Right. So I told him to go uh, attend to him. Don't let him, you know, vomit and inhale. That's all you can do, right? Yeah. And, uh, and then I, I turned to the inert uh, 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 victim and uh, performed CPR and got his heartbeat back. And uh, so, at any rate. But there's a nice ending to that because what happened is because of his religion and his faith, he was a Catholic, you know, because that's what you told me. And I think it's relevant because, you know, albeit we're talking about what if he had poles, but there's another side of life, which is what whatever we believe in, you know, is right. interesting. And so even though that guy actually passed away, right? Yeah, eventually he, he, he died of kidney failure and that sort of thing. He was, this is such a tragic story. I'm not, you know, telling uh, the no, general public I, about no, this. No, it's not the general public. This is Waterford Poll Talk, and what's happened is that we sell, I sell this, yeah. and this is a deadly weapon. It could be. Yeah, it, that's it, it, that's it sobriety. So I'm inducing it out of you yeah, because okay. I'm going. I want to avoid this. I don't. I don't want to be the guy who gets the phone call who says, "Ah, oh, somebody was using a Richard Mini and he melted." You know, just, I just don't want that in my life. So if you, sure, sure, if sure. I can yeah. draw on your experience, well, and I know you've got a recommendation for it, so it's you know, yeah. it's not just oh yeah, I saw this. Like you're a genuine person who 
who who helped in that situation and got recognized for that. So it's a real story, like it's a media, it's already in the media, you know what I mean? Right. That was quite a while ago. Yeah. <laughs> but before, uh, before I, can, I can um, unequivocally say that uh, uh, they would have been much less injured if they would have gotten to that power uh, with uh, one of these poles. They, they would have only been hooked up for a, a microsecond yeah. before the pole exploded. Yeah. These guys were, these guys were hooked up for seconds. Yeah. Multiple, you know, seconds. But um, at any rate, uh, uh, ladders, I do not like ladders. I, I've seen so many ladder injuries. Uh, not only that, that uh, you know, catastrophic one, but just people breaking their arms, their legs, their neck, uh, uh, straining their back, carrying the damn things, trying to get them off of trucks. Yeah, when they take them off the roof racks yeah, and, and stuff off like the that. Yeah, you know, it's just, it's just a, an unsafe uh, So let's item. talk about, like, all the ladder, the waterfed pole, all of these injuries. Um, I just look at it. I used to use to sell insurance for a year, and my my story in insurance and retirement planning and death sort of you know insurance and stuff like that. But my story was there's two people in the plan. There's you now and you later, right? So if you use all your money now for you, that's going to be really cool. But you later, it's you later, not me. Yeah. I mean, I'm not here to collect premiums for superannuation or whatever, like for me, like, you know, it's you later. So you've got to think about you now and you later. And I think that kind of story makes a lot of sense when you're talking about so many of the things that the muscle groups and the injuries and stuff like that. And all the guys who are watching are going, well, nothing much has happened to me or I've only got one pain, you know, because we've got guys ranging from 18 years old through to mm -hmm. 65.